When you throw a bowling ball, it keeps going until it hits the pins. Unless an external force acts upon it, any moving object will move at a constant speed in a straight line. The reason that the ball knocks over the pins is that any moving object will resist changes in its state of motion. This tendency to resist a change in motion is called inertia. English mathematician Isaac Newton was the first to discover the principle of inertia. So the law of inertia is referred to as Newton's first law of motion. This law states that unless acted upon by an unbalanced force, an object at rest stays at rest and an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed and in the same direction. Because of its inertia, an object moves at a constant velocity. Velocity is the speed of an object in a particular direction. An object only changes its motion, whether speed or direction, when acted upon by an unbalanced force. If the batter missed the ball, the ball would continue forever if there was no gravity or air resistance to act on the ball. An unbalanced force acts when all the forces acting on a body do not cancel each other. On the other hand, when the forces on an object are balanced in its equilibrium, so it will stay at rest or continue its motion. This statue has more than one force acting upon it. However, the force of gravity acting down on the statue is equaled by the support underneath the statue. The forces are balanced and therefore the object will stay at rest. The people in these bumper cars can change the direction of the car with a turn of the steering wheel. The steering causes an unbalanced force, which changes the bumper car's direction. Stepping on the accelerator or pressing the brake changes the car's speed. Unbalanced forces can be a change in speed only, a change in direction only, or both. Friction is the resistance that one object encounters when moving against another object. Friction is a force that acts on most moving objects. The friction of a bicycle brake slows down the wheel rim. When the force of friction acting on a moving object is greater than other forces, then the unbalanced forces will result in the object changing its motion by slowing down. A rocket carrying a probe into space overcomes many forces to get through the Earth's atmosphere. However, in space, there is essentially no friction. The probe can be released at a very high speed, and because of its inertia, the probe will coast through space. No engines are needed to keep it moving. However, when the probe passes near a planet, the gravitational force between the planet and the spacecraft will change the speed and direction of the probe. Newton's first law is not just for rocket scientists, of course. This law is essential for understanding motion of objects, whether you want to know how a soccer ball behaves or if you want to design a roller coaster.